Hi, this is Paul Holtz, and welcome to Class on Demand. Today we're going to be covering a really cool effect on Avid Studio. A, uh, a friend uh, of ours, a user from Huntington Beach, California, Simon, actually sent me an email to see if it was possible to do an animated television station bug. That's this effect. When we go around um, the planet here where we have some text wrapping around it, that's typically called a station ID or a station bug. So let me show you how this looks. And once again, this is happening in real time. This is uh, not a rendered animation. This is actually happening, okay? So once again, it's done with three layers. We've got the text layer that's warped. We've got the planet layer. And then we've got the background uh, animals back here. So it's actually done in three layers. So this is going to be an actual uh, tutorial on how to do this. But we're going to be covering a couple of things. We're going to be showing you how to make the planet, how to warp the text around it, as well as how do we get the planet over uh, that live animal uh, background. So it's going to be a lot of fun today. So stick around. You're going to actually learn quite a bit, and I'll try to keep it real short. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to actually make the planet. And the way that we're going to do that is we're going to actually come down here and we're going to grab a topological map of the Earth. Okay, it's pretty simple. This map, actually, if you want to know, is under this path right here. It's under Pinnacle, Content, Hollywood Effects and Images, and you've got all sorts of different uh, ping files and target files. So pick the one that says Earth Land PNG, okay? And then add that to your library, which I did. So we've dropped that down on our middle layer. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to fill this so we don't have this black garbage in here right now. So the way to do that is right click, go to scaling, and select fill. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to show you how to use a transitional effect like a warping effect. It could be a page turn or one of the sphere effects to actually create the earth itself. Okay. So what I want you to do is go under all media, type in BAS for basic, and we're going to go out and look for a basic shape called ball. All right. Now you guys may have seen this transition before. This is this little ball that usually is used as a transition. What it does is it actually warps whatever element is applied to it. And that's what we're going to use to composite this today. So what we're going to do, since this is a transition out, we're going to put it at the end of my clip. And you see how that's warping that right into that nice, that nice planet right there? And also, because it's got this little highlight on here, it really looks realistic because it looks like the sun is hitting a hot spot on the earth, okay, which is exactly how it would be. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave it right about there. And then what we're going to do normally is we would, we would actually export this as a snapshot. But in this particular case, when you export an image of this, it'll keep all of this information, but it'll also keep the black information, which we don't want. Um, when you do a snapshot of a warps like this, it doesn't remember the alpha channel information, which is the cutout information. So if you were to put this over that live background, it's you're not going to see it because you're going to be showing this black. So since it doesn't remember true alpha channel information, we're going to cheat here a little bit, and we're going to put this on a green background. Well, where are we going to get the green from if you don't have it? The easiest way is to create it in your text editor. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that this track here is our selected track. We want the track underneath it selected. So once again, if it's not, make sure that that's the selected track. And then what we're going to do is we're going to click on our text. And here we go. First thing we do is delete the text that's on there because we don't need that. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into background settings, double click in the background drop zone, and all we're going to do is we're going to have a pure green background. So I want you to make this one zero, this one zero, this is red and blue, and green leave it a full 255. And you can see that this is going to be the green color that we've now created and we're going to apply this. So hit OK. And now you can see that we've got green underneath here. 
which is kind of cool. So if we put green back here, now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and export this because then we can use a chroma key later to cut out the green background. Let's hit export. And once again, we want to make sure we're all the way over there. So we're going to set my endpoint right there. And that's what we're going to export. So what we're going to do under settings, go to image. We can use this as a, as a JPEG, which is fine. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start export. We can call this anything we want. Let's just put it on my desktop. We'll call it planet. And the export is finished right under here. So let's go to planet and add this to our library. Great. So we've now composited our planet. And what we're going to do is we're going to select these, hit delete, and we're going to drag this down on our middle layer. Okay. Now the next thing that we're going to do, let's just bring this guy over. This is uh, our animal footage. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go in here, double click to open our effects editor. And we're going to go under our keyers. And what we're going to do is we're going to go under chroma key. And you can see already that it's doing exactly what we want to do. We could hit OK, but we want to do one more thing here. We, now that we've cut out our green background, we want to place it down in the corner. So let's go under 2D, 3D, our 2D editor, and we're going to go to default. No preset, I should say. That's what we want. And let's go over and change our location a little bit. First, what we want to do is change our size. Okay, and we'll bring this over, bring that up, good. Now you see this little bit of junk up here? That's what we can use cropping for. So let's go to the top, crop that out, and now you've got this nice image on the background. And if you want to see what that looks like, you certainly can, you know, play that back. Turn solo off if you can't see it, but with chroma key you should be able to see it. All right now, the next thing that we want to do is hit OK. Looks pretty cool so far. So the next thing that we need to do is go to our top layer and select that as our text track, our go-to track. And then what we want to do is click on the T for text. And then what we're going to do, right in here, we're going to type in ABC space N -E -W -S, and then a, a, uh, a space. So let's go ahead and select all of that. Control C, Control V, Control V, Control V, and just keep redoing that. Because we want to have enough of the ABC News for however long our project needs. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go into Motions, emphasis and you're going to crawl to the left and you can see what's happening right there okay so we're going to go crawl to the left hit okay and let's stretch that out okay now you can see what's going to happen here it's just going to crawl across the top well what we need to do is we need to warp this around the planet so here's how we're going to do it Okay, what we want to do is we want to right click on the text and go into Open Effects Editor. And then we want to go into Artistic. And we want to go in here called a sphere. And you can see as soon as I roll across it, what's starting to happen here. Pretty cool, huh? Now what we want to do is we want to go under the curvature Okay, and we'll, you'll see what happens here. It starts to curve around. Okay, this is great. Now, what we want to do is we want to take care that we don't use that horizontal warp too much. Okay, so what we're going to do, 
So we're going to warp this around. That looks pretty good so far. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off solo so I can see what this looks like. Now, the one thing that we're going to do is we're going to add now a 2D, 3D rotation because we want to put it over where the planet is. Okay, so we've used the sphere to warp it. So let's add another 2D, 3D. Let's go back here. Okay, we're going to go into 3D editor. And we're going to go under no preset. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and rotate this a bit. Let's go ahead and rotate Z just a bit. And then what we're going to do is we're going to change the size. And then we're going to go into position. Move it over a little bit. Move it down. You see where this is going? Isn't this cool? Okay, let's center that. Good. Now we're going to make the size a little bit smaller. And once again, you can always go back to your sphere selection. Remember, you can have multiple effects on one layer. Go back to the curvature. Let's make sure that this is curved a little bit more. Go back to 3D. Go to my position. Good, and then we'll come down. All right, let's see how that looks. And there you go. Hit OK. And that's how easy it is, guys. And once again, you could take, you know, one of these uh, pre-made animations like from my Holtz Effect stuff and you could use that in there the same exact way. Uh, this just happens to be a rotating sphere instead. But you could be wrapping, you know, like your ESPN type text around this. So it's a very creative effect uh, and it works well. The one thing that I want you guys to think of is remember... When uh, just because tools are labeled a certain way, that doesn't mean that you can't use them in very creative ways, like we just did by using the warp effect to composite the earth. And we and anytime you use a an effect, you can use that with text, just like we showed here. Um, you know, those warp effects or cylinders and stuff, those will all work with text as well. Okay, so hope you really learned a lot today and had a lot of fun. I'm Paul Holtz. Thanks for watching Class on Demand. <laughs>